In this video, the Axial SEX24 is going to be getting some brass hexes and some hubs, all from TopCAD. We're going to do a before and after test to see how much better does it help it perform. Welcome everyone, my name is Troy, this is Roadside RC. On the channel, you'll see us doing everything from bashing, crawling, drifting, racing, plus some product review videos and how-tos, and that's exactly what we got on the bench today. We have our SEX24. It doesn't get a lot of airtime on the channel. This is honestly just my son's run around in the house, have some fun truck. But it is, I think at this point, 100% stock, and it needs some help. So we have some uh, hubs here, some brass hubs from TopCAD along with their uh, hexes, their weighted hexes that are also plus five millimeters in width to widen out the stance a little bit, help it with the rollover, because that is the biggest issue that we have with this truck, is it is, it is very tippy in all of the directions. It is always on its roof. And so we are hoping some of this weight down low gets us a little bit better performance. The first thing that we're gonna do is I have my professional RC crawler driver, James, my eight-year-old son. I have him, it's his truck, so he's gotta drive it. And you know, the SCX24, it's not really a go out and do a four mile trail loop truck. It's man, what we use it for mostly is an indoor, let's have fun inside. And so we have created dun, 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 an indoor crawler course. We have the X-Max, we have a bridge, we have a big loop. We have, we have all sorts of things, a V, tire crawl. We even have a slide back there. All sorts of fun stuff for the, to try the truck with. So we're gonna run it first stock and see how it does. Come on. Okay, so honestly, the, the truck actually did a little bit better than I thought I would do on our course. Um, I thought we'd have a lot more rollovers. You know, there's a couple spots where it really struggled. You can see coming up the ramp over here that that was definitely a place where it would it would start to lose traction. Um, this These 3D printed uh, uh, ramp right here, very, very difficult. Um, basically couldn't get up it at all and sometimes rolled it coming down. Let's get these modifications on and test it again.
And then now that we've matched up old versus new parts, I took the axle and the bearings out of them. Have my precision scale here and it can't, it can't see it. It can't read, it can't read the stock piece. It's so small, it's under a gram. Can't even read it. New piece, six, six grams. So a, it should be a fairly large improvement into how much this uh, how much weight is on the front of this axle. Uh, so I've moved over the bearings and the axle to the new to the new hub. Note in the kit, it comes with these small little aluminum, uh, basically they end up being bushings. Those go in the top and bottom here to help provide your pivot in the new hub. So do not forget to put those parts on as you screw everything back together. All right, we have the whole first part of this situation figured out now. There that is. Now the next of it is putting on this extended wheel hex with some additional weight. And now if we come over here again, same thing. Doesn't weigh it at all. 10 grams. So now this 10 plus the 6 from the hub means we are adding 16 grams of weight to each one of the front corners of this truck. Plus, we're going to add both of those tents to the rear also. This is great. So that was pretty cool. So we were definitely able to add some brass down low. You could clearly see that it made the truck more stable, so less likely to tip. However, all that extra weight, I mean, it's a lot of extra weight on that truck. It legitimately struggled to get uphill. Like, you know, when we showed the white uphill ramp, it did not get to the same spot that it did before. So the extra weight, when it got to a very steep angle, was doing more pulling it back than it was putting it into the ground. Um, but side hill and stuff like that was better. So a couple things uh, that we then went and took the brass off the rear, right? And this is something I typically do with some of my other vehicles. I only put it on the front. I did the same thing here. It immediately got that little bit better, you know? The rear's just there dragging around. I don't need the rear to be uh, 
a, a lot of extra weight on the rear and so we just took that off the side hill and all that was still nice and stable with the front end um so that is all better did notice that the servo saver seemed to be a little bit a little bit looser now because it has by pushing those front wheels out it actually puts more of a force on that servo saver and so what we saw was we saw that the steering was a little bit worse go in i tightened up the servo saver it got better so that was just a setting there that needed changing along with the brass more to come on this though the course is still set up we still have more to do to this truck we have a couple more pieces that we're going to add on to it so stay tuned for that in the meantime, let me know down below, what are the parts that you've used on your SCX24 that have really, really made a big difference in how the truck performed? I'd love to hear it down below. So thank you very much for your support. Come over here, check out some of the other videos that we've already made, and we will see you in the next video. Thank you and goodbye.